What's she like in private? Is uh, she very fun? funny. Really? Very funny. Wants to crack a joke and crack a joke about me. Turns out Queen Elizabeth has no problem poking fun at James Bond. I'm very quite embarrassed now and <laughs> can't look you in the face. Daniel Craig, who recently made his last movie as the handsome spy, stopped by The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on Wednesday and opened up about meeting Her Majesty while filming a sketch for the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Summer Olympics. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Good evening. Yeah, the actor recalled filming that scene, which involved James Bond picking up the Queen at Buckingham Palace, flying to Millennium Stadium, and in true 007 fashion, jumping out of the helicopter and parachuting into the crowd. And behind the scenes, the Queen was teasing Daniel. Yeah, she, she, just, she said, we were, ha we're having our photographs taken, and she just went, oh no, he's the one that doesn't smile. <laughs> Fair enough. That's nice, yeah, yeah. nice crack. Yeah. There you go. In addition to getting some playful shade from the royal, Daniel got to spend some time with her corgis, who were also featured in the sketch. I was rolling around on the floor with them most of the oh. time. Yeah. That's good. I mean, they're just there, and, and there's a, I think they have their own footman. I mean, I- I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not no. to be surprised about surprised, it, but yeah. that, that someone was Helicopter. just looking after after them, and I just, yeah, they're very friendly. Of course, back in October, after over a decade of portraying the iconic role, Daniel took his final bow with the fifth and final installment of his run as Bond in No Time to Die. This is gonna be my last one. Someone else should have a go. The past isn't dead. I'm very proud of what we've done. I'm so lucky to have been sort of had this, this opportunity for the past 16 years. It was a slog. It's gone like that. It's just, it's, you know, I, I, I'm, I remember being announced as James Bond like it was yesterday. Leading up to his final Bond film's premiere, the action star reflected as his time as a secret agent during a Sit down with ET. I've changed immeasurably since I began this in my professional life and in my personal life, clearly. It's given me a confidence that I didn't have when I started off. This confidence to sort of try and make the best of what you have and make the best movies we can. And that's all I ever, ever wanted out of this. And as his time as Bond came to an end, his No Time to Die co-stars couldn't help but gush to E.T. over his epic run as the legendary character. I've just really enjoyed watching him um, uh, take on the responsibility of this thing and kind of grow into it. And, you know, he's really, he's just rocked it. It's emotional because it is Daniel's last film and he gave so much, you know, for this character. He gave 15 years of his life. I'm a huge fan of Daniel's. Wanted this to be a really special send-off for him, and I think we accomplished that.